just like tearing out your heart. It's like tearing out your heart. For 73 days, Martin and Wendy Martinez have waited on an answer. We feel so useless and helpless of what we can do. They're asking their son Nicholas's killer to identify themselves. They need help so this doesn't happen again. Nicholas grew up in Bertram. He was killed in Austin on Friday, July 23rd. And so sometimes it's like he's just off doing a trip, you know, for work, but then we get together. He's not there. And he's not there. The weekend he was killed, he was set to spend celebrating his sister's 22nd birthday. And it's hard, it's hard to be all together with him missing. Hoping to generate leads, his family is now sharing this timeline with Fox 7. The day Nicholas died, he traveled to Houston and back for work, settling into his unit at the Brook Apartments in South Austin. At 8.30, he spoke with his brother about his sister's party. At 9.50, he spoke with his sister about the same thing. Someone interrupted that phone call. His parents don't know who, but they would like to speak with them. Shortly after, he started playing video games online with his nephew. Nicholas told him, hey, I got to go grab my laundry. I'll be right back. And we're not sure what time that was. My nephew stayed up waiting for him to come back. Nicholas's laundry was a short walk away in a separate building. He never returned. He didn't take anything but his keys. He left his wallet. Um, Cigarette. His cigarettes were still in the apartment. At 1030, Nicholas called 911. He told them he was stabbed. He drove himself to this Conoco gas station less than a mile from his apartment. Um, and then he got out of the car and, and tried to get people to help him. Um, and that was it. It was too late. Police found this knife with neon highlights inside Nicholas's car. They want to know who it belongs to. The knife was with him. That's another thing I don't understand. Were they in the car? Were they breaking in? Did he catch them? I don't know. Police also visited the laundry room, telling the Martinez family they didn't find anything. A few days later, the family went on their own, finding Nicholas's basket and clothes. His laundry was in the dryer, done. So he never got there.